Good morning, everyone. And as we approach the nine o'clock hour here this morning, this Wednesday of Easter, uh, we pause for a moment now as we uh, call to mind uh, all those who are suffering, suffering from illness, most especially uh, those with COVID-19. So we'll pause in prayer. pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Let's gather today in the spirit of prayer, the spirit of the risen Lord. We pause for a moment now to call to mind our sins, to acknowledge those areas of our life that are still in need of God's love in our lives. We ask for his mercy and his forgiveness this day. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manan, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, God let all, all the nations, nations praise, praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O, o God, God, let all, all the nations, nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on earth you guide. O God, o God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord Jesus. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, 
I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day. Because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever noticed, as I'm sure we all have, how the atmosphere of a room, of any particular gathering that we might have, can change almost instantaneously when somebody else comes into that space? It could be when we have found ourselves at work in gathered spaces with people, uh, with co-workers around us, that we might be gathered and talking and chatting, and the boss or the supervisor comes by, and, and almost instantaneously the, the tone of the conversation sort of shifts, and we might kind of stand up and, and make sure that we aren't talking about anything that we would want him or her to hear about. It could be that we gathered in kind of a social gathering amongst friends, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, someone who's not too acquainted with everyone else kind of interjects themselves into the conversation, and, and the atmosphere sort of changes a bit, to, uh, takes a bit of a kind of an awkward turn, as, as this person doesn't really know uh, everybody in the group, and so uh, it, it shifts a bit in that way. It could be that uh, a group of people is gathered together, some of us together, and we are in a particular moment of, of sadness, of, of grief, of, of loneliness, uh, much of what we might be feeling in these days. And the presence of someone else, the, the loving, caring presence of someone we may know, a friend, a family member, uh, somebody from our community, enters into that realm of 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 sadness, of grief, of anxiety, whatever it might be, and it can slowly change it and bring some level of peace and comfort to it. Jesus speaks today of himself once more in the gospel in these great terms of light and darkness, using these great motifs of the gospel of John. And he says that he is the light of the world, the one sent into the world as light. He sent into a world, into the, the, the world in which we live, that is oftentimes marked by darkness. The darkness of, of despair, the darkness of discouragement, the darkness of, of sin and, and human dysfunction, all of it that we are all too aware of, the, the darkness of our world, most especially uh, in these days, in these days of pandemic. It's into that darkness, it's, it's into that atmosphere that Jesus comes as the light. As the light that is meant to scatter the darkness, to dispel the darkness, and to bring newness of life into this world, into our own lives. And so as, as we are aware of the darkness, the darkness that not only goes on around us, but also the darkness that can go on within us within our own souls, the, uh, the darkness that we experience throughout our lives. Remember today that it is Jesus who has truly come and entered into that darkness. He's come to, to change it, to, to, to bring conversion and newness to that darkness of our lives and our world. And so as he has done that, it's, it's a moment, it's an opportunity for you and me to ask, to reflect upon today, how is it that as Jesus, the light of the world, has entered into our lives, how is it that we have reflected and revealed? How is it that we are called to reflect and to reveal this great light of Christ in all that we do, so that the glory of the Father, the splendor of God the Father, might be known, might be made manifest in our midst? Coming today before the Lord as our light and our life, 
we now present to him our prayers, our needs this day. For the church, may the joy of the gospel inspire us as missionary. Nope, sorry. For the church, may God bring us unity where it is needed and build bridges where there is division. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected leaders and their advisors, may the wisdom and peace of Christ inspire them in legislating and leading their people justly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick in mind, body, or spirit, may Christ the healer touch them through the hands and presence of a friend today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this local faith community, may God grant courage for its members to proclaim the word of God with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they be welcomed into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Renee Melly, the special intention of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those prayers and petitions which we bring before the Lord now in the silence of our hearts this day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all glory, you have sent Jesus Christ as the light of the world, as the light of our lives, as our guide and as our strength. Send down, we pray, your grace upon all of us, upon especially those most in need in our times. We ask that you give them the guidance and the grace that they need, that we all need to do your will, to build up your kingdom here in our midst. We ask all this through the risen Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, 
and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the only one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come together in prayer in this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, joining us here today. To see you back tomorrow. Have a blessed, safe, and good day.